Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about right now is what people are seeing and experiencing in everyday life when it comes to being of the prepared mind. And I get sent pictures and videos and emails. And if you would like to do so, my email's in the description box below. So this first email comes in from a community member with an, uh, a picture. And she said, I saw this uh ad on youtube and went looking there is a new trend oh dear lord for a human dog bed okay she said if you don't trust downloads i just search for human dog beds they're even on amazon oh for the love of all that's glorious it's 180 dollars. it's 72 by 48 by 10. human sized dog bed for people adults giant dog bed for human nap size washable luxury fall fur fluffy dog bed for large dogs with soft blanket large brown my god <laughs> okay well i if if that's what you're into hey listen more power to you you know <laughs> So these pictures were sent in from a community member and she's in California and wow, the absurdity. It says a group of at least 30 people flooded an upscale store at a shopping complex in Glendale, California and stole approximately $300,000 worth of merchandise in a bold flash mob burglary. My goodness gracious me, of all things, three hundred thousand dollars what uh, what store wow <sighs> so here's an email from a community member and she said economic ninja just said on his uh channel that the fdc is going to pull uh otc meds uh just to let your viewers know yeah i know i heard it's like uh benadryl and stuff like that uh she said my husband drives for walmart and let me tell you their drivers are sitting idle no loads to keep them busy what's going on she said you would think walmart's truck drivers would stay busy and they are not Thank you for all you're doing. Well, thank you, sweetheart, for sending me this email. My goodness gracious. Why? What's going on with Walmarts? Email me and tell me what's going on. What the heck? So here's an email from a community member, and she sent me in some pictures. She goes, look what I just, oh, my Lord, in her front yard my dogs were barking and i went out to see what it was all about i could see them circled around a wisteria bush that i have in my front yard as i started down the steps i could actually hear the rattles oh so i called the dogs and told them to crate so they ran to their crates then i grabbed a shovel and went looking for it then i went around the bush it was coiled up on the other side i decided it was too big for me to try and get it with the shovel so i ran in and got a, a pew pew i oh it was already moving across the yard by the time i got back to it but from around eight feet away with it moving, I was able to hit it in the head with one good shot. Oh my lot. You got the head off right away. Oh, now for already in dire circumstances, I'll probably be able to skin it and cook it. Shut up. <laughs> oh my God, that's so scary. Oh Lord, look at these pictures. Mm. So a community member, she sent me an email and that she left me a link to a YouTube uh, um, video. And she said, I found this video last night and thought this man needs to have his story go viral. Five years ago, his story would be front page news nationwide. Today, silence. I understand partly to protect him, but there are ways to not use his name. Quick description of his story. It 
about June this summer, 98 degrees outside, truck driver who pulls into a restaurant stop to get a little bit of sleep. When his, in front of his eyes, he saw something that doesn't look right. He watched a woman go to the back of a pickup truck and unlock a cage that is covered by a tarp. Out of the cage came three children. Watch the video of his interview on how many kids were in the cage. Oh my God. All right, the link will be in the description box below. Mm -mm. No, 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 mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. Okay, so here is an email from a community member. Um, regroup, okay. Uh, she said, I totaled my car September 12th. I don't have means to get money together for a little while, so I was thinking I should rent out a room in my home that I'm not using. Uh, if you could please mention how I'm in New Jersey and in a nice, clean, quiet development with stores within 5 to 25 minutes away and Highway 55 North South about 10 minutes away, I'd appreciate it. I'm the only owner and I need to stay current on all of my bills. I use this rental room in my home as a means to save up for a car. I'm a single mom and that car was, was a gem as I only had it for four years and only needed to do breaks and oil changes during that time and now it's totaled. I've been there and done that. She said, I guess if anyone is interested, would you facilitate? And if they seem serious, would you forward them my email? Absolutely. Um, whatever you suggest would be great. Finally, there's plenty of healthcare jobs and such that do not require, okay, arm ticket and pay 17 to 22 for home health aid CNAs, 35 and up for nurses, etc. There's also plenty of warehouse, etc. As well as employment wouldn't be an issue. She's in Vineland. Uh, if you could help, that would be great. Absolutely. Uh, Vineland, New Jersey is not far from where I lived, where I grew up. It's actually a very, very nice, nice, nice area. Um, you know, uh, low crime rate, you know, uh, Vineland is actually, you know, a place that Sean and I were actually looking um, to buy because, you know, we want to go back home. You know what I mean? So we were looking at Vineland and we were also uh, looking at Mays Landing um, and Smithfield. So um, if you want, if you're interested, if you need a place to like rent or whatever, uh, email me, okay? And I will uh, forward you her email address, okay? So here's an email from a community member with some pictures. She said, um, our mayor brought us vacuum chicken breast, about six cases of it, and five cases of skim milk, and six or seven cases of Triscuits. Thank God for him. Yes, he's an amazing man, isn't he? Wow, I am so happy that you guys have him in your life. No kidding. <laughs> And before I go, I leave you guys with some videos that were sent in by community members. Um, these are for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao. Glad the wind's going the way it is. Breaking news. You've been given the date the US dollar is going to collapse on the 1st of January 2024. So this is breaking news and you uh, have just been given the date or they have just given you the date. And you can find videos of them announcing this. So this was uh, an announcement, an official announcement from the BRICS summit from 2023 conference where they were talking about expansion. 
And they have announced that there are uh, going to be, from the 1st of January 2024, there's going to be new members that are joining. These members are Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia are officially joining. They've announced this. They are officially joining the BRICS Consortium of Nations on the 1st of January 2024. Coming up. Why is this the end of the US dollar? Well, if you look at the last two nations in that list up there, that's the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. So you're talking about all of the oil. These are Saudi, nation, Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest uh, producers of oil globally. And um, I think it was Ronald Reagan uh, did a deal for military protection where Saudi agreed that they were only going to sell oil in what's called petrodollars. And what that did was to cement the US dollar as the world's reserve currencies, because effectively it was backed by oil by default. Other than that, the US dollar is only backed by debt. What this means is, as of the 1st of January 2024, Saudi Arabia will not be selling oil in petrodollars. And any other country that produces oil within the BRICS uh, sort of conglomerate will not be selling oil in petrodollars. And what that means is, folks, that uh, the only commodity that by de facto underpinned the US dollar is disappearing. The agenda of uh, the BRICS sort of consortium of countries and coming together um, is de-dollarization. And uh, what this means is that they're looking to take the world away from the US dollar as the global world's reserve currency. These countries added together, these new members that are joining on the 1st of January added together, uh, you're talking another 300 million plus people added into this and another over 400 billion in GDP added into this ever increasing block. There are more and more countries that are applying to join this. Now, like I say, the only thing underpinning the US dollar is built on debt and it's the only thing underpinning it really was its status as the world reserve currency. It was used to trade oil and things like this. The fact that Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates are officially joining, that's been announced now folks, officially joining on the 1st of January 2024, that is the date that they've given you. That's the date that the US dollar as the world's reserve currency dies because then uh, there's nothing else backing it up. In order to be a member of BRICS, they're not going to be allowed, conditions of their membership is they're not going to be allowed to be able to sell uh, oil in petrodollars, which marks the sort of shift in this sort of world power and uh, a big, big shift from west to east. So you've been given enough warning, folks. Uh, the 1st of January 2024 is your date. They've just announced it to you. I think it was today. It's just breaking. Um, again, if not financial advice, uh, do your own research. But uh, again, the US dollar, the date has been announced. Keep that in your diaries. Take care of yourself. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Imagine the UK is just one massive scam. So apparently there's just been a law passed uh, for this net zero compliance energy stuff. Basically your house has to be compliant. And if it's not compliant, then you'll either be fined 15,000 pounds or you can spend a year in jail. So basically what they're saying is, if you don't comply to us, we're gonna take your house, take your car, take everything you own, and they're gonna ruin you. Watch this video. Nigel Farage explains that this is crazy. You could go to prison if your house isn't compliant with net zero regulations. Am I making this up? No, unbelievably, the energy bill passed in Parliament this week. It's third reading. It's with the Lords now. It could be law very soon. And as a huge drive to get towards net zero, your house must be compliant with all new energy certificate regulations. If not, you could be fined up to £15,000, or yes, you could even go to prison. And here's the astonishing thing. We lost our liberties during lockdown. You'd have thought our politicians would have learned from that. But no, they're hell-bent on power. Hell-bent on the Secretary of State having the ability to do this to you. I feel we should stand up and fight back against it, but maybe everyone's given up. Maybe liberty isn't trendy. Anymore.